Hi everyone, and welcome back to the ECW training series. Today we're going to go over the GYN history and the OB history. These two pair together fairly well, so they're naturally put closer together and they'll be in the same video. Here we are at the top of a test patient's progress note. Here we see the chief complaint, HPI, medications. Let's scroll down a little bit further. Once we get right past allergies and intolerances, we get to the GYN and OB histories. And as you can see, there's a fair amount of things here. So let's go right in. Just a quick note, there is not a corresponding animation at the top for this particular section. Some sections are like that, but that's all right because we'll get through it anyway. Everything that is written outside is categorized in this nice column and row set here. And you'll notice that here, this particular top of the section is the majority of the things that you will enter for a particular patient. The reason why I mention that is because the further down you go, the more uh, idiosyncratic and individualistic these things are going to get. The lower you go, the less commonly you'll see a yes or a no for a lot of these sections. For most women, you simply won't put uh, the majority of these things. And you can see you have a lot of options. So you definitely have the ability to write a full uh, medical history. See, there's even a section for transgendered. Now, how do these work? You have the notes, and you can click next to each one. And then when you do, you're going to have two options. You can free text write anything you'd like here, but you also have little cheat options here. So let's go ahead and choose that as an example. And let's go through one or two more sections just so we have a little bit more experience. Now again, you can write anything you want, but more often than not, the answer you'll need will be right there. As you can see, we're building a pretty interesting patient here. And then we'll just choose one more for the sake of completeness. This is a little bit optimistic because we have other options, but let's just go with the option we have here. So that's it for GYN history. For OP history, it's fairly similar. Now, the sections, of course, are going to be different, but it's going to be the same format. So let's go ahead and choose, I'm going to do full term deliveries. And in this case, we don't have any options, but that's okay because, again, we can just type things in. And let's choose a preterm delivery just to round this out. And again, no options here, but that's not always the case. But in this case, it's fairly easy. And that pretty much summarizes our GYN and OB histories. These two sections naturally go together, so it's important for our providers to be fluid going back and forth between the two. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.